The thing is, it started with an idea. We came up with it as a, just as an ocean, and we didn't know that we would ever do it or that we could ever do it. And I think that's a really nice way to start. If we could do anything, what would we do? My name is Neva Elliott. I'm CEO of Crash Ensemble. Crashlands came about uh, for Crash Ensemble's 20th anniversary in 2017. We decided to commission 20 composers, 10 from Ireland and 10 international composers, to write new pieces for Crash. We wanted to do something really special with them, the first time they're ever heard. So what we did is set off around the country, around Ireland, um, to sites that were kind of um, iconic in some way. At each site we premiered two of the pieces, one Irish and one international. We had lighthouses and islands and holy wells, uh, gothic ruins, uh, all sorts of um, outdoor spaces. We didn't start from the point of view of it being practical. We were like, oh, we would travel around Ireland and play in all these amazing places and we'd do it at sunrise and at sunset and we'd have a poet follow us. And then we had to work backwards, like, how do we do it? The very first concert was on Long Island off the coast of Skull in West Cork. We were playing on the side of a cliff on this small island that didn't have a venue or anything like that so we were just on the side of a cliff. It was actually I think the bottom of someone's garden. The kind of main thing on that was like getting electricity. So we ran a cable up into their house. People came over on the ferry and then we ran out of tickets for the ferry. People got into their own kayaks and kayaked over. <laughs> so it was just, they came not just for Crash and they came not just for the music, they came because of the idea of this crazy notion, like what are these guys doing? <laughs> we have gotten wonderful composers from all over the world to write brand new pieces for Crash Ensemble. And the first time that this piece has ever been performed is right here in front of you guys on this island overlooking the Atlantic. Thank you very much, everybody. There was never a case where we didn't think it would be possible, but there always had to be an element of flexibility because being outdoors in Ireland, we were always subject to weather. Afternoon everybody, how's it going? We're Crash Ensemble. It's threatening to rain on and off, so there's plenty of seating up the front. In one case we were to play in a forest, um, but it was raining so we ended up playing in a yurt in the castle yard. <laughs> I think one of the things about Crash is like we're pretty good at um, pulling things together and being flexible and making it work.
when we were playing in uh, Clonmel, we were playing at a holy well for sunrise. Production had to arrive at 3 a.m. The rest of the guys arrived at 4.30 with the audience soon after. Something like that, you don't know if people are going to turn up. Good morning, everybody. How's everyone this morning? Yeah. For that concert, um, there was two distinct audiences. There was the audience that were getting up first thing in the morning and they had their coffee and their kids and their dogs. And there was the audience that had stayed out all night and they were coming with their cans and their mates. We all got on great. It's lovely. Somewhere nearby today, buried in clay, there is a stone. Steadfast, alone, this single stone. If you the bilingual poet Darren Agrifa also travelled with the group on tour. Um, she was responding to the music to crash um, and to the sights and creating new work from her experiences. I am going around on tour with crash at the moment and my brief is to write a poem in each place that they land along the way, so no pressure. <laughs> and the poem that I want to read for you today is um, about stone, and that's a theme that's been coming up in a lot of the locations that we've been performing in along the way. It was another way to interpret or understand who we are and what we're doing. At the end of the tour we had actually two nights of concerts in the National Concert Hall in Dublin which um, is where we're in residence and over the two nights we played all 20 works with um, some visuals from the tour as well. Uh, fortune of founding this ensemble 20 years ago. It's brilliant to see them in such great shape and flourishing more than ever. What they've done for this to celebrate 20 years is very interesting. Kate Ellis, together with Neva Elliott and Mary Hickson, and maybe a few others from the group, dreamed up this idea of commissioning 20 composers to write pieces to celebrate 20 years of Crash Ensemble. And then, to, maybe to add insult to injury, they decided to premiere these in different spots across the country. But they weren't just picking like concert halls. They weren't like going to the Blanchard stand to the concert hall there or somewhere else. They were going out to these islands and lighthouses and they, um, they commissioned a filmmaker to make films of them performing in each of these places. But sometimes they premiered this in the, where there's a, a field of cows at six o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's amazing that they're unscathed. Uh -huh. 